before we get started, um, if you would like to do that later or if you would like to get an understanding, um, what you need to do that is an Azure Active Directory for this demonstration. There is an API management solution from XB you need, of course, then the Microsoft Dynamics CRM instance. And here an important note, because I spent some time to figure that out, um, that you should use the same Microsoft account, at least to make it easy and start working from the beginning for the Azure Active Directory and for the Microsoft Dynamics CRM system. Otherwise, you do miss some settings that I will explain later. Um, the CRM Web API is protected by OAuth 2. And that's why it makes sense to have a basic understanding how OS2 is working. And um, it might help to have an idea how the API management system um, for Maxby is working. So um, <clears throat> what we will cover in this video today is that we are going to register an application in AAD, an OAuth application. And we will configure the opposite of that OAuth application, the client app in the API management solution from Xway. And finally, we link everything together so that at the end, that API is in your API catalog and can be consumed by a client. And uh, then we will see how it works. When looking on the same architecture a little bit more detailed, then you see the CRM, which is clear what it does, and it's offering that OAuth protected API, and for OAuth we need an access token, and the access token is issued by the Azure Active Directory because it is the IDP itself, it stores the identities, but on the other hand, it, um, it is the OAuth authorization server um, issuing an access token, and the access token it um, must be a personalized access token because the access to the CRM system is personalized. And that's why consumers, clients want to have access to the CRM system must somehow log in. And uh, to do that, clients are accessing the CRM API exposed on the API management solution. The API management solution, well, no, I don't have an access token yet to call the CRM system and that's why the client is redirected to the authorization server um, Active Directory and then um, the login page pretty familiar with the from the Microsoft login page is returned the user can enter the login credentials and then finally we get back the authorization code which is part of the OAuth dance the client or the user has only sent the the user credentials to the active directory which is let's say the most important for part about the OAuth protocol and <clears throat> once we have the authorization code received we are, or the client is automatically redirected using the registered callback URL to the API management solution. And then we are extracting that authorization code and exchange it to the final access token. We need to access the API from the CRM system. This is what we would like to have. And to do that, we need to pass a few steps and these are the steps. First, we have to register the OAuth application in Azure Active Directory. Second thing is that we will configure the OAuth client application, which is basically the same thing that every developer has to do when a mobile app, for instance, would like to talk to an OAuth protected API. Um, then we, we would like to use, of course, that OAuth client application when communicating with the CRM API. And last but not least is that we would like to make that API part of the API manager. 